day, ladies and gents, and welcome back to Cold Waters with Mags, and welcome back aboard the Rankin. All right, so we have made it to the Spratly Islands. We're in the northern section of the Spratlys right now, and we have just intercepted a submarine. Now, I'm not entirely sure whether or not this is our actual target, but we are in the right area, so this is a good start. Let's just get some ID up here. Con sonar, That's Sierra promising a Romeo on its own. That could be what submarine. we're after. Disappointing if there's only one. Now, we do have to watch our depths here at the moment. We're pretty okay here. We don't have a bottom as far as I can tell in this section here, but as soon as we go up into this lighter blue section of the map, we are going to have to watch and see how quickly the ground comes up. Now, you're right under the thermal layer. Range to target, 8.1. One kiloyards. And it's turning north. Right. I'm going to wait and see whether or not it turns completely north. If it turns completely north, I should be in its baffles or pretty close to it. At the moment... Mate, Romeo's nearly deaf, but it should be able to hear. Yeah, we're only 75 decibel on the water. It'll hear the launch transient if we don't wait. So we'll just keep an eye on this one. So, yes, of course, uh, after the last engagement, we did head back to Guam. We did rearm and reload, and we've managed to make our way here. So we did have time. We've, uh, we've still got days before the interception, or... To, uh, before our deadline for the interception anyway. We may have already achieved the interception, hopefully. So, strangely enough, for uh, one of the first times in this campaign so far, I think everything is going right, at least in regards to chasing down our targets. We have had a couple of issues with this one. Right, I'm going to do a quick... direction change... Come left to two one nine. Hard left. I. I just want to swing the toad array around and see whether or not we're uh. Whether or not there's anything else ahead of us that we can't hear. Alright, looking good so far. Torpedo 1 ready. And firing. Shoot two, 1, I sir. No reaction from the Romeo, we are in its baffles. going to get the torpedo down here to the rear and then come straight up behind one oh we have torpedoes in the water come right to turning three, north five eight helm i pretty close to match depth on target I am not sure how she heard that. Ah, we lost her. She must have swung over hard right and picked up the torpedo coming in behind her. All right, yep, we're going to turn right north. To zero, zero, zero. Helm, I. And... Make depth let's three, go to 100 zero, feet. Zero feet, die by. Make depth one, five, Get above five, the layout. Zero feet, die by. Torpedo is on track, so that should be fine. Just past 500 feet. I 
thing I do like about the Colons class is because of the way the Toad Array is set up, so long as you're actually at a speed above 5 knots, which you have to be in order to deploy it, the Toad Array will not contact the screw. So you can make turns and you don't have to worry about dragging the Toad Array across your screw. You can also change depths and you will not have the same issue, you won't have a problem either. So it means retracting the Toad Array while maneuvering isn't quite the major thing it was with some of our previous submarines that we've been operating. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. All right, torpedo is tracking. And we are about to cross this torpedo, we're not worried about. This one is a concern, but we are about to cross the thermal hour. So we should be able to be nice and quiet, and that should go directly behind us Con, and underneath helm, us, and we should course. be all good. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, two, nine, two. Come left to three, two, four, helm, I. Nice. Torpedo has seen through the noisemaker. Now we're having trouble hearing the target now because we're on the other side of the thermal layer, so exactly what uh, we're doing to this torpedo, we're also sort of doing to the Romeo. But the torpedo can see. The target is about there. Con, dive at one five zero tracking. Feet, dive I expect we'll have another countermeasure in just a second. Although maybe con, not. Con sonar no lost impact. contact. Sierra con helm steady course. All right. Well, hopefully that was our mission objective. We just have to concern ourselves with these torpedoes up here. So. Toad Array retract, just in case we need to. We're going to keep running silent. Now we just wait and see what happens. getting some angry pings out of the torpedo as it's tracking through here, but it's just running straight. The offhand is doing a search pattern and neither one are picking us up. So we're fine. Nice. All right, so after action report, one Romeo sunk. It was the only target in the area. 1,830 tons added to the tonnage. One torpedo fired, 7,320 experience gained. Now, was this our objective? Excellent performance locating and eliminating the enemy submarines transporting the Chinese commandos. Await additional orders on this downlink. Yes, it was. All right, that was a pretty straightforward and easy mission. Let's see what we've got next. Well, actually, we better get the news report first. 600 feet under. The Pentagon today revealed that several Chinese submarines, one, Attempted an incursion near the Spratly Islands, South China Sea, and were either destroyed or driven off by coordinated efforts of U.S. surface uh, vessels, submarines, and aircraft. Cooperation between U.S. forces and those in allied nations was cited as a pivotal to the successful outcome of this operation. Hey, we sort of got to mention. The loss of so many vessels will certainly curtail the Chinese ability to project power in this region. Yeah, I think we've sunk half of their submarine forces at least at this point including a couple that they rang in from Russia. A uh, high priority throughout this theatre is the United States' ability to maintain control of the region is dependent on these bases. Okay, cool. What's our next objective? A wolf pack of enemy attack submarines has been operating in and around the Tsushima Strait between Japan and the Korean Peninsula. God, back around the other side. Oh, the East China Sea again, where they've been terrorizing coastal shipping lanes as part of Beijing's strategy to starve Japan and South Korea into reneging their support for the United States. I'm not sure how this works. The submarines are hunting the straits between Japan and the Korean Peninsula. I can almost see how that would work for Korea as a supply line. But they are aware that uh, Japan takes most of its freight and supplies on the other side of Japan. <laughs> I don't think they're starving Japan out anytime soon. 
Uh, you must therefore transit the area and conduct an ASW sweep of the area before the enemy has a chance to escape. Avoid any civilian casualties. All right, well, so the good thing is, since we loaded up in Guam and we've only fired one torpedo, we don't need to hang around. We can book it straight out of here, head through South Taiwan, and then swing around and head for the East China Sea and the Korean Peninsula. So we can just go. At least going would have been the plan. Uh, just north of the Spratleys, and we have been intercepted by a submarine pack. Signature, let's see if we can work out. Sierra 3, I want to know what you are first. I'm hoping you are a merchant or a trawler, and it's looking like that is a pretty high probability there. Yeah, it looks like a merchant. Con sonar, Sierra 3, is classified as merchant. Yeah, that's a merchant. Sierra 1. That looks like Con today sonar, is going to be the day Sierra of the diesel electric. It's classified as submerged submarine. Con sonar, new contact bearing. Zero, six, uh, one, Sierra designated four. Sierra okay. four. What are you? Biologic. It is a humpback. Con sonar, Sierra two, is classified as biologic. That is not a biologic, I don't think. be a trawler. Yep, yeah, it's a trawler. Con sonar, Sierra 4 is classified there's as There's no way there's merchant. a missile boat operating on the surface on its own. So we've been intercepted by a Romeo on its own. Or at least it appears to be on its own. Range to target. 7.6 kilo yards estimated. We are going to change depth. Make depth one five zero feet dive by. Make it two hundred. Make depth two zero Put us zero right feet on the dive thermal by. Layer, just above it. Two hundred and sixteen is the thermal layer. We'll be at two hundred. Just bring the tubes above the layer, and then we'll drop the torpedo. Shame that merchant's not a little bit closer, actually. We could have worn or wore it as a hat. Let's bring ourselves up so we're running directly underneath the hull. Match speed. Now, this range and their active pinging... Yeah, they're picking us up, or at least they're getting some kind of return. I have no idea why they haven't fired yet. But they should be aware of the fact that we're here. Oh, if they ping active again, they definitely will. Come on, get above the layer, get above the layer. Yeah, they were running fast before, so they had a detection of five, which should have been enough for them to pick up. But they're on 15 now, because they've pumped the brakes and only running at three knots. So an active ping out of the Romeo will definitely have picked us up, but we are through the layer. Range to target, 7.2 kilo yards. Shoot two one, aye sir. Torpedo is away. Con sonar, launch transient from Sierra 1. Con sonar, launch transient from Sierra 1. Come left to Turning on zero, target. Six, seven, helm I. Yeah, thought we might be too close. 
Alright, torpedo down below the layer, match depth to target. Go to flight. Con sonar, we are cavitating. It's alright. It does bother me that our flank speed is only 20 Con knots. Con helm, steady course. That's all we've got. Come right to zero six nine. And why is broke? Con helm, steady course. Con maneuvering. Like why this close to a target? I'm not two, liking this too zero much. Zero knots. Is that depth under keel? Yeah, all right, we'll do that. Depth change. Nine hundred. Make depth nine zero zero Maintain eight. Maintain flank. So we dive as fast as we can. If those torpedoes activate short, we won't get in between them, and we've got room to dive, so we might as well use it. Con sonar no longer cavitating. Oh come on. We're at four hundred. Five hundred. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra Seven three. Feet. Last bearing two one nine. Contact is in the baffles. Seven hundred. If we pass eight hundred, I'll go silent. And Rig ship for ultra quiet. Torpedo tracking. We sit down here at 900 feet and hope nobody notices the fact that we're here. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra 3, bearing 2, 2, 2. Right, Sierra 3 has just been picked back up. We couldn't hear it because we were uh, cavitating. Pedo seems to be tracking true. Only go to a thousand feet. Make depth go one deeper. zero 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 feet. Die by. Yeah, we wouldn't have gotten to the torpedoes before they went active. Con sonar lost Impact. contact. Sierra one. Last bearing zero seven seven. Contact breaking up. It looks like we're good. We're deep enough that the torpedoes can't see us. pass overhead. I'm a little concerned about this merchant over here. He could have a very, very, very bad day, but... Alright, we're going to bring ourselves back up to 900 Make now. Depth nine, zero, zero feet, die by. Always get a little bit sketch at a thousand feet or below in the columns. 900 is far more comfortable. Now the question is, actually first, whose flag's on that merchant? Oh, it's a Chinese flag. Okay, cool. So, did the Chinese Romeo sink the Chinese merchant? Technically, I think the torpedo should pick this merchant up. Con, dive at nine, zero, zero feet, dive by. There's a 
there's a torpedo there. Oh, that's nearly a perfect shot. That torpedo must be running with settings to not track surface targets. That would nearly, if that was running on the surface, that would nearly have been a kill. Lucky, lucky merchant. Alright, so, results again, one Romeo down, 1,830 tons in the bag, another 7,320, and this was of course not our mission objective, yet we're trying to get out of the zone. So two torpedoes fired so far out of our load, we've still got plenty to complete the wolf pack. So, back to the East China Sea. But first, thank you very much for watching guys, we'll, uh, we'll resume this journey in the next episode, and until next time, take care.